For Mashable, I'm Lauren Gorris. A new kind of retinal implant could help restore vision. In the most common form of blindness among older people, it's the retina's light-sensing cells that die off, but the rest of the eye remains intact. So researchers at Stanford are designing a device that works with the still healthy nerve cells in the retina to send visual information to the brain. Essentially, hardware that bypasses the lost cells and helps the brain see. And this is what current retina implants do, so what makes Stanford's version special? Stanford's scope blog says similar devices require coils, cables, or antennas inside the eye to transmit power and information to the retinal implant. But Stanford's implant is powered wirelessly. It charges using incoming light. That light, however, isn't enough to keep the implant charged, so Stanford uses lasers. What else? Take a look at this illustration from Nature Photonics. Here you can see the design combines video projection goggles with an image processor, and infrared beams shine from the lens back to the retina. It's these beams that stimulate the nerves. Basically, the harmless lasers help power sight. Stanford's Dr. Daniel Palinker explains, it works like the solar panels on your roof, converting light into electric current. But instead of the current flowing to your refrigerator, it flows into your retina. But it'll be a few years before the device goes into clinical trials. Stanford says it has to finish safety testing first. For Mashable, I'm Lauren Gorris.